और अब दिल थाम के बैठिएगा क्योंकि आपका दिल चुराने आ रहे हैं मिस्टर सिपिन काजमी काजमी साहब इज़ अ वेल नोन जेंटलमैन इन आर कम्युनिटी ही इज़ द सीईओ ऑफ ए मनी मेट मोगजिंक लोकेटेड इन द हार्ट ऑफ थाइसन कोनर वर्जीनिया इन ईच एपिसोड मिस्टर काजमी इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू अ डिफरेंट एंड येट अ वेल नोन पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ द डी सी मेट्रो रीजन उप्स दैट इज नॉट ट्रू ही हैज़ ब्रॉड मैनी मैनी वेल नोन पर्सनैलिटीज फ्राम अराउंड द ग्लोब Anyway, back on this set for this morning, his guest is Miss Jasmine Mawad. She is an international lawyer. Let's meet her. Good morning, Subhan Kazmi, with another episode of Up or Up. Today, I have brought a very interesting person to my show. She is an international lawyer, and please welcome Jasmine Mawad. Jasmine. Hi, Steve. Good morning. How are good you? Good morning. Very good. Thank you so much for for coming to my show. It's it's such an honor. I re- I really appreciate it. Thank I, you. Steve. I hope you feel okay coming here. I am. Yeah. Well, it was raining. It was just yeah. like crazy <laughs> rain today. But I am very 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 happy to be part of your show. And, Thank you. And thanks for giving me this opportunity to say my voice. Absolutely, absolutely. Because uh, the interesting when you say you're an international lawyer, so. In 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 America, especially in Washington area, there's so many people from all different part of the world, and uh, they would love to hear what are their rights as as immigrants. Or anyway, I I will not go there. You tell me, what is the meaning of international lawyer? Well, uh, just tell you a little background of me. Okay. Uh, When I came here, I'm half Palestinian, half from Spain. Okay. So I migrated here. I was also a migrant, and I came to this country when I was 14, 15. Mm-hmm. My father was a diplomat, and unfortunately, we couldn't uh, make it too far. We have to go back to Spain and oh. then come back here again. Mm-hmm. And my dream was always to come back to America and make a difference. The time passed by, and I started doing different kind of works. I even uh, end up writing a book about called "Devils of Skunk," which is a it's, oh, wow. it's more like yeah, a motivational book. Uh-huh. And this book will be the result of many things that happened during my life. And uh-huh. what it is is, since I am mixed with Palestinian and Spain, I end up going to South America for the past year. And over there, I start working for the Supreme Court since my uncle is part of the. He's a judge in the Supreme Court, uh-huh. and I start working there. And I start feeling that um, there were so many women that they were abused, and I start working oh. for Lex Mundi Pro Bono, which is also a place in which the people, um, many attorneys, start working. Pretty much uh, pro bono, which means free. Correct, correct. And and Lex Mundi, what it does is a non-profit that start helping people. Uh-huh. And in Brazil and Bolivia, we start doing that job. Okay. I start loving it. I start loving it, and I start um, thinking, what really is international lawyer? Uh-huh. Because um, I start learning common law, civil law, and ultimately I start learning I start learning Sharia laws. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah, which is something that I can say I, I know very well. But I'm having I'm a, one of the panelists for the Arkansas Bar uh, about Islamophobia. It's coming on June. I'm going to be there, and I'm also going to be part of what's going to be um, uh, also for the university in Rock Spring for uh, many students, law students. Um, as an attorney here, I'm not a bar. Mm-hmm. I don't have the bar for Virginia or Maryland. That's something people don't understand. Okay. But I'm a juris doctor, and um, S- I'm saying that you are a juris doctor. Okay, which is a lawyer. Uh-huh. It is a lawyer. Uh-huh. Uh, here in in United States, you gotta belong to a bar, so okay. you have to pass a bar. I'm correct, working correct. on that. Uh-huh. And uh, in international law, where I where I was, uh, it was just enough to be a lawyer. So it depends of the country you are. Uh-huh. Uh, that can be adjusted to whatever is the practice that you're doing. If you need to get a license, an extra license to practice okay. what's you know being a lawyer. Here, my um, I'm working for um, the government. Okay. Um, I'm part of AmeriCorps, and okay. and I've been working on a lot with immigration. We're doing Know Your Rights. That's something that many people need to know. When well, we were at the um, we were a part of. Um, With attorney Virginia Attorney General, uh-huh. um, helping people when this happened in the ma- I don't know if you remember the Muslim ban at Dallas Airport. Correct, correct. Yes. So we yeah, were helping. Yes, yes. 
Exactly. Um, my work is kind of diverse at this point, uh, being part of what the National Corporation of Community Service is something very uh, empowering to me. It makes me feel that I can help many, many people, and that's really what I am. I, wow. I, I really want someday to be the person that people can come and get some relief, regardless of what's happening. And then while I was in Brazil and in Bolivia, that's, this will be the, let's say, the pivotal, uh -huh. you know, for what's going to be the writing of my book, which is about suicidal and about women, uh, mostly, okay. that go into depression and end up suiciding. So when you say when you pass your bar in America, what law you want to, what part of law you want to concentrate on? Now, uh, when in, in South America, uh -huh. n not in North America, in South America, yes, uh, I want to concentrate normally in international law. Okay. While I was working at the Supreme Court in Bolivia, uh -huh. I mainly started seen many cases who were big that pertain uh, situations like, for example, um, there was a satellite that it was in a dispute with China. So you need to understand Chinese laws and you need to understand oh, our laws. Okay, 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 so, okay. So, so you're not uh, dealing with, with the individual? No, not necessarily. Not well, necessarily. here that I come back, for personal reasons, I have to come back to USA. I, um, I'm dealing with some immigration laws. I'm uh -huh. working at IMI doctors by Actio Law as well. That's uh, under SASH. SASH is uh, the attorney that has the bar to mm -hmm. practice, mm -hmm. and I'm a paralegal there. Wow. And yes, so we are working together and helping individuals okay. with immigration needs. But yeah, m what's my um, specialty is international law. International. And my advocacy is for women, So mostly. <laughs> When you children. say women, women right to work, women, uh, like, you know, there's always this, there's some statistics that in corporate America, uh, women get paid less versus a man. Um, I don't know how true that is or not true. I don't know. I have not. It's just word of mouth sort of thing. So you want to work on, on women's rights in, in workplace or women's rights in general? Well, I, I particularly, because of what I've been doing now, which is uh, immigration, uh -huh. I'm, I'm pro-immigrant women. Okay. I see that the immigrant women, as also I was one of them, uh -huh. I, uh, we face many changes and we have to adapt to a country that we don't know and Correct. we come with different backgrounds and we try to implement it and, and we put this spice in, in America, but sometimes uh -huh. it's not that welcome. That's why I'm doing some... Uh, like I'm Palinist and Islamophobia. Correct, correct. Because I believe that uh, sometimes when we try to um, get our culture, our background, uh, it, it can irritate another people that they're not used mm. to the change. Okay. So that's my advocacy is immigrant women. It doesn't mean that I'm not for the, for, for the women in general. Uh -huh. um, I believe that women is a little bit, um, women is very strong, but mentally a little bit weak. So okay. we need this kind of feedback, constant feedback, that we can do it, that we are great. Mm -hmm. And as children as well that are under the care of a woman, uh, it's very important that a woman takes her responsibility as a mother mm -hmm. and is able to guide these children in the right path. So it's very important for me, uh, this kind of guidance, this kind of advocacy. When, when a woman is hurt, because mm -hmm. I see it in Brazil, women hurt, uh, mentally abused, physically abused, mm. sexually abused, they cannot lead their children to a better place. They actually end up leading the children to a disaster. So for me, that's why I do more advocacy in women. I believe men is kind of mentally a little bit stronger than women. We're too emotional and we end up that emotional make us sometimes make mistakes. And that's why that's my advocacy. You mentioned Islamophobia a couple of times. Let's talk about that. What, what explain, and you can look at the camera and mm -hmm. tell people what this word means. Well, Islamopho Islamophobia is something that it came, and as an international person, I didn't see it, for example, in South America. Uh -huh. I didn't see it, uh, I see it in parts of Europe. I see it in Germany. I see nothing in, in Spain, actually, 
Spain, Spain welcomes much to Islam, uh -huh. and, but I've seen it a lot in USA. I blame the media. Um, what happened is that many, many, many things have been happening here, uh -huh. but has been exploited by the media. It's becoming, uh, for me, some kind of pattern that is making us hate and is now making us unite. Uh, as a country, as Americans, we always welcome immigrants. I am American myself, and I'm so proud to be American. Uh -huh. But I see in some of my fellow sisters and brothers that they don't feel the same welcoming, and it hurts me. And you, say, you said you blame the media, because media sometimes does things to get rating. Absolutely. Right? So if you see a heading that everything was okay, nobody's gonna read it, right? So, mm -hmm. so media exaggerate. Uh, on certain occasions. But as for the Islamophobia is concerned, is that something which you have experienced because you're half Palestinian? So experience yourself or, or your peers? I experienced myself. I was wearing hijab uh, when I was in Brazil, I go to the mosque. Uh -huh. And when I was in Bolivia, I wear my hijab and I go to the mosque. And um, I also went into Germany to the mosque, and it was completely different. While I was in South America, I was welcome, and people actually used to feel like uh, they want to know more about what's Islam. Right. On the other hand, when it, while I was in German, in Germany, I'm sorry, um, I ended up feeling very, very, very uncomfortable. The looks, uh, the hate was very notorious. Really? Yes. And, and I didn't like that. Do you feel like, like that in America also? Or? I, America, um, I've been wearing hijab as well, but I, I see there's many more people like me, uh -huh. and I, de I didn't feel, I didn't have the need to wear a hijab like going outside, I only correct, do it when, I, when I'm in the mask. And um, I can tell you that there's, as people there hates, there's also people that protect us and care correct. about that, us. That's the beauty of, of exactly. this country, that yeah, exactly. it is welcoming. Uh, I'm like, you know, all of us, mm -hmm. everybody, white, brown, black, yellow, doesn't matter. We are all immigrants, and which made this country a great country. Yes, right? unfortunately now uh, it's been yeah. happening a lot of stuff uh, with the new president. There's things has been changing, Correct. a lot of hate, a lot of drama. Uh, it's making people uh, feel uncomfortable. And uh, so I, I am very uh, overprotective of what's women and children. Correct, correct including the Spanish, and they are not Muslim, but I seen in many schools right now, uh -huh. they've been bullied. Uh, oh. They saying, go back to your country, you oh know. God, that's uh, and, and that's just The like first time I heard that, I've been living in this country for 30 plus years, and the mm -hmm. first time I heard that was close to 25 years ago. Yeah, but you heard it. <laughs> yeah, I heard so it, and I was One just of us, I mean, we all, if you yeah. were an ignorant, some ignorant person maybe told us, go back to your country. I was just this shocked. Is my I was like, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. what I thought to myself. I was like, <laughs> yeah. what do you mean, what country? Exactly. Like, this is my country. Yeah. I, I live here. I get homesick when I'm away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I pay taxes. I follow the law. So, w which country? So, you're right. It's So, since you mentioned that media have done uh, some more damage to this, and in today's age, uh, you don't have to be a TV anchor. You, all you have to do have a cell phone and, and absolutely you know, yes. United Airlines yes. or whatever yeah. video posted, and you become a journalist. Yes. However, media. It's, do you think it's also media's responsibility to to show the right side also, or at least the the neutral side, not r r uh, correct or wrong. Exactly. The the, the neutral side that uh, which can help. That your cause or any human being who have a heart and, and a conscience that they can, media can help. You think? I, I think uh, media is is some of the media are doing a great job. Some and other ones are not so. Uh, and the reason you say the ratings, but also I have to say that there is so much drama going on at this point uh -huh. uh, that the many political parties are using to whatever is to create their ratings on themselves uh -huh, and, and uh -huh. be able to get more votes or get more uh, likes. And um, in between, in between, it's just innocent people because the majority sounds, is innocent people. Yeah, it's the, because I think the, the reason, and please correct me if I'm wrong, that the reason they're innocent because they, they cannot protect themselves. Yeah, exactly. They don't and have the knowledge or the resources 
or, or just and so that's very great that you are you're doing it. it's very noble of you to you. to be able to help uh, the unfortunate people and and, uh, and 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 I I I would not call them unfortunate I would call them like pretty much hard-working people who have yeah. no time to be knowing their rights, for example. Correct, 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 correct. And they get stopped by a police officer, let's say that, and, yeah. and it happens all the time. And, and then they get race profile because they look Spanish or they look Muslim or they look like, you know, they don't look like, like people from like here. The, the we have an accent. Yeah. It's yeah, an yeah, accent yeah, that you, we can just... get picked up like this. Exactly. Yeah. And then if you don't know your rights, if you don't know that you got to keep quiet that you uh -huh. have the right of an attorney or you have the right of a phone call, correct, correct, you start correct. making mistakes. Uh, if yeah. someone, in, if a police uh, asks you, may I see your car, and you say yes, that's it, boom, you didn't know, correct. you consented. But if you say, do you have a warrant, or I will not let you come in and search my car, things change. Absolutely. People doesn't know. Correct. When there's these big uh, raids that I see with the Spanish people, uh -huh. People get picked up like this just because they made mistakes, they said things that they're not supposed to say, and they sign things that they're not supposed to sign. And oh. we seen it on the Muslim ban when this happened in the airport. There people were signing things that they're not supposed to sign. They were even giving up their green cards. There's a there's a story, yeah, there's oh a story about yeah, two brothers that they asked them to sign a form to just give up on their green cards and then Obviously, another uh, attorneys interfered, they stop it, and they change it. They they challenge this, but it it's is just it's unfortunate. Um, another unfortunate thing is to be running out of time. It's all right, all right. Jasmine. <laughs> I want to thank you so much uh, for coming on my show and enlighten our, our our open up our brains and, and my audience. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Seth. Thank you, such a pleasure. No, no, it is. Ladies fine. and gentlemen, Jasmine, a very intelligent lady. Thank you very much for watching. Till the next time, Cloud Office.